The first churro sheep were brought to the Americas in the 16th century by the Spanish for meat, milk, hides, and wool. This breed was well suited for the climate and topography of Oaxaca. The introduction of their wool was readily accepted by the weavers of Teotitlan del Valle. Churro sheep come in a variety of colors, ranging from white and light creams to grays, tans, browns, and black. The texture of churro wool can be very soft and fine. It is ideal for making yarn. White wool is used most often because it dyes to a truer color. Churro sheep usually go about a year between shearings. By the end of a year-long growth period, their coat has gathered burrs, plant matter, and other dirt. Even though wool naturally repels these impurities, the wool needs to be thoroughly cleaned. The first step in cleaning is to separate and open up the matted parts. Worn matter is picked out by hand, and the wool is fluffed to make washing more effective. After this preliminary cleaning process, the wool is taken down to the river and washed with a mole, Oaxaca's indigenous soap plant. The inside of this basket acts as a natural washboard and the streaming water flows through it to rinse out dirt and suds without washing away the wool inside. The amole root must be crushed to release the cleansing lather. Next to the river are large rocks that have been warmed by the sun. They make an ideal place to set the newly washed wet wool. Solar heat helps to evaporate the water. Final drying can be done at home. Once it is clean and dry, the wool is ready for carding and then spinning into yarn. For more information, please visit porfiriogutierrez.com.